everybody, I'm back with another process video and this one is for a wedding scrapbook layout for my sister. And I'm just starting off by tearing the paper so I get a really nice edge um, on that pattern that, where I've torn it. And I'm just checking placement before I glue everything down. And I'm just adding some glue runner around the edges. I knew when I made this page that I wanted to have that tool border on there. I just liked the way that the creamy color of that tool border matched that patterned background paper. And now I'm just adding elements, um, seeing where I like them without any glue or anything first, just to see what I like. And I cut um, some of these elements out from the 6x6 something glue pad. Um, some of them are journaling cards uh, that came in the 3x4 pack. Some of them I cut out from the 12x12 12 12 papers. And I'm just adding various little embellishments, um, seeing what I like placement-wise. And then I've picked out already some uh, colored flowers that will go with my page and, and other things like that, that that match that something blue line. with the placement to see what I like. I wanted to add something different than just, you know, a little crystal or gem to the center of these flowers. So I'm just taking some Marion Smith Designs Bloom Impression stamens that I have stashed away and um, folding them in half and, and pushing them through the center of those flowers. And now I'm going to start to glue things down. I cut down that journaling card so that it'll fit under the paper and just rounding off the corners. And I'm just gluing down the back edge that goes underneath. That way, if I want to mess with it later, or stick something else under it, I can. I decided to add pop dots to the back of this photo just to give it a little more dimension on the page. journaling card was a little too crooked for my taste, so I'm just redoing that. And I'm adding my embellishments back on. I'm really visual, so I like to try things before I stick it down. I'm just going to add this brad, and I'm punching through the paper with a paper piercer first to kind of help. It was a uh, watercolor cardstock on the back, so it's pretty thick, and it took me a couple tries to try and get that brad through. And a neat trick I learned is to give it a few taps with a little hammer and it flattens the back of the brad out real nicely so it doesn't catch on other things. I'm going to use my heavy body gel from Prima to adhere the larger things like the flowers and I'm adding some pop dots to that little flower bunch that I fussy cut earlier. And I'm just cutting a few pop dots in half. I 
have to use a variety of adhesives for my projects depending on how heavy an embellishment is um, or you know whether I want it to have more dimension or not. So there I'm just applying the flowers with the heavy body gel. I'm just making sure that the stamens are facing kind of the way I want them to. And I decided I wanted to add some gold thread underneath the flower, so I'm just kind of bunching it up until I like how messy it looks. And I'm just going to pop that under the flowers before they dry. That heavy body gel dries pretty quickly, but you still have some time to work with it if you want to pull something up and stick thread under there or, you know, another embellishment. I really like this metallic thread from We Are Memory Keepers, not so much for using in my Stitch Happy machine. I've been having problems using it with that, but I really like the thickness of it uh, for using in projects like with this application. The string's not quite so flimsy and it holds its shape really nicely when you make little nests of thread for your projects. some pop dots to the back of this chipboard sticker and then I'm using some baby powder on the back of the chipboard sticker part to de-sticky the back um, so that only the pop dots are sticky. I don't peel off the protective lining over the pop dots until after I'm done doing this step. using little glossy accents to adhere that leaf. And for the ribbon I'm using a combination of sticky thumb tacky tape and the gel, heavy body gel adhesive. I wanted to make sure that the ribbon border stayed in place as the heavy body gel dried and so I just applied little bits of the tacky tape uh, to keep it in place. And I don't apply very much and I do it right in the center where it's threaded together and um, under, underneath the little bling that's added to the center so that if some of the glue does happen to kind of seep through the fabric you can't really tell. took a little bit to get some of those protective backings off that sticky tape. You gotta just make sure that it's pressed down firmly onto the fabric before you start to peel up, otherwise you'll peel off the whole thing. And you just want to make sure that your border um, is where you want it before you start to press it down because that sticky tacky tape is very very sticky and will adhere and you don't want to rip anything on your project. Now I'm just adding some final touches with some crystals from Prima's uh, Time Traveler Memories line. Um, I liked the kind of warm undertones that these crystals had and matched the cream and yellow colors on the page. And because I live in a really arid climate, I find that the adhesives on the back of these gems shrivel up and dry and they fall off my page after several months and so I'm just adding um, glue dots onto the back of them for some extra adhesive. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this process video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more inspirational projects like this.